Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually this is the second video about Zoho reporting. Uh, in the first video I told you guys about that how you can set up an account and then I have told you guys about the basic of Zoho report, how it works. So now this video is about data importing, that how you can import data. As I told you guys before that uh, uh, in Zoho, if you want to analyze the data, there are three steps. The first step is that you have to import the data. The second step is that you will create your visualization, you will create your dashboard. And in the third step, we will be sharing your dashboard with the other audience or other people in your office. So what I have done is I currently have just searched in Google Zoho reports uh, as I have already created an account with Zoho reports so I will just click uh, this link which will take me here and as you can see I am already logged in so I will just click it and I will click this page uh, option which is saying assess Zoho analytics so I will click that and after that now Zoho will take me to my workplace where I can start doing visualization so you will end it up with a page like this so here you can import this from this page you can import uh, data from different files from excel csp file json files html file and you can even uh, import data from uh, google drive uh, uh, and dropbox and you can even download uh, import the data from the cloud database there's so many options which are available you can even uh, link your crm databases with zoho so in this video what i will do i will import data from a csv file uh, from excel file and also i will try to show you guys that how you can import data from google drive so first i will do first i will import data from an excel file so i will click it so the first option is the what is the workspace name if you want to change your workspace name you can change it here i will i will let you know what does it mean but if you want to keep it uh, because i want to keep it uh, the name as workspace one uh, you can add the description here but uh, i i don't want to suppose if i want to uh, uh, add the description that uh, how to import different data formats in Zoho. After that, in file type, as I said that I will be first importing an Excel file. So I will click this Excel option. And after that, I'm mentioning uh, to Zoho that I will be importing this file from my local drive. You can also import data from web, uh, pasted data or FTP. And after that, I will select the file. Uh, this is the file that I want to import. So I will click it open and then I will press next. So this is the preview of my data before importing. The, an important thing to note here is that there are two options available. Let's suppose if you have some hidden rows in your Excel data or hidden columns, and you also want that hidden data to be imported then you have to opt this option uh, import hidden rows or import hidden column uh, actually in my data i know that there is no hidden uh, rows or columns so for me that's why i'm not opting this option but if you think that you have a hidden rows or hidden columns in your data and you also want to uh, import that data into zoho then you have to uh, opt these options so now I will select the next option and so the table name so within that workspace the Zoho will create a new table and that table will contain the data that you have just imported so you can change uh, the data name suppose if I'm saying it Excel data and here is a very important option which is saying that first row contains column names uh, yes that my data which i am importing have contains the column names because this data is a hypothetical data about the cars so the first row will be considered as the column name so the make of the car price of the car mile, mileage of the car things like that so i'm 
but if you want to change you can also say no if you say let's see if you do no you can see that now the column names will be considered as data uh, instead of uh, variable names so therefore i will change it back to yes because i want the column names to be the if to be uh, to be considered from the first row after that i will here you can see that uh, Zoho have a very important uh, feature that if there is any date variable in your data, the Zoho will automatically decide that which column have the date variable. So I suppose if in my data there is no date column, so that's why Zoho is saying that there is no date column found. But if there is any date column in your data, uh, Zoho will automatically decide and then you can easily format the date a variable into different styles in Zoho. So after that, another now I come back to the columns. So suppose if you imported the data and these are the variable names. Suppose if you want to rename this variable name, you can easily rename it. Just click it and then suppose if I want to rename it as price two, and then just click it. So now the variable name is price two. Uh, another thing here is that. Uh, this thing which is a down arrow will, is about the variable type so suppose if you want to change the variable type you can just simply click this down arrow button and then you can have different uh, variable formats that you can select from Zoho you can call it as numeric currency positive number you can easily change uh, the variable type but for me uh, uh, the variable type is fine probably i will talk about variable data types in my later videos in more detail and here after that there is another option on import arrow errors so what does it mean by import errors it means that if you're importing the data and if there is any missing values or there is any uh, or if you got any error so how zohu reacts to that so there are different options so one option is that send empty values for the column so suppose if you are importing the data in the one of the column having some uh, malfunctioning data so what zoho will do that for that malfunctioning data zoho will create a missing values or you can also add different option that uh, don't import the data at all skip corresponding rows in which we have the error so i will happy with the, this first one so I will say now I will say create. So now you can see uh, there is a report Zoho have created that uh, is saying that uh, your we have successfully created a uh, data which is named as Excel underscore data within the workspace one. So I will close it down now. And now Zoho is loading my data into browser window. And again, I will sh tell you guys that uh, that all this is happening in a browser. You, we haven't installed anything. So after uploading the data into Zoho, Zoho usually gives you a, a pop-up like this that do you want to auto-generate a report? Actually, I'm usually I don't use auto-generate report, but for you guys, uh, we can say that okay, Zoho uh, generate an auto report. If I say yes. So based on this data, Zoho will create a basic report that you can use. But I really prefer to create my own report. And in my later videos, I will show you guys that how you can create your report. But the, as you can see, based on this report, based on this data, Zoho have created an automatically a report, which is not bad. You can even use that report. But I will go back to my uh, importing data tab. So I will just go uh, I, because I don't want to save this report. I will just click these three buttons and say delete this report. Yes. So now this is my data and this data is about uh, uh, the data I imported from the Excel file. And if you go to Explorer, you can see that within the workspace one, which you guys have remembered that when I was uh, importing the data I told uh, in Zoho that my data will be under the workspace one and this is the data which is now I have 
So suppose if you are working on a project and suppose you code it at Workspace ONE and you are working with a lot of data. So within the Workspace ONE, there is a very important function which you can use to manage your data table is to have create folders within your Workspace ONE. So it will be easier uh, if you are working with a lot of number of data. So suppose if I create a data, uh, tape, uh, create a new folder. So I will be saying, uh, Excel data. You can name it whatever you want, but I suppose it is Excel data. And I will say OK. So now you can see that there is a folder uh, Zohu have created, which is saying that Excel data dashboard. Uh, so now if you want to import my data into this folder, I can just simply go here move to the folder and then i can say excel data dashboard folder so by this you can easily manage your uh, uh, data tables so you can see that your data table is here now i, I now i will quickly uh, tell you guys that how you can import a csv data which is all very much the same but i will quickly go and now we will create import a data from a csv format so i will go to this create button there is an option which is stating new table slash import data and an important thing is that i am still under my workspace one but suppose if you're working in multiple workspaces so you have created different workspaces and you want to switch your workspace then you have to go to your home button and within home button it will show you all the workspaces you have even you can have create different dashboards so suppose if you're having two or three workspaces, then Zoho will be showing you all those workspaces here and then you can easily move from one project to another project by just cl simply clicking. But I want to be within the same workspace, so I will just click it here. I will, I'm back to my workspace one. And now I will be importing another data which will be from a CSV file. I will say plus create. I will say import data. And now this time I will be uh, importing a CSV file and my files and feed allows me to also import data from a CSV file. So I simply click it and now I want to name uh, that, that table name will be suppose CSV file, CSV data, CSV data and then I'll be selecting my file tag which is CSV. And as again, my data is located in my local drive, I will say choose file. And now this time I will be using CSV data. We I'm using, I'm almost repeating the same process. I will say next. And again, this is the window which we have also before. If you want to change anything here, I am happy with the same settings. I will say create, close. Uh, I don't want to create an auto generate for this data, so I will just simply close it. So, this is the data that we have imported now. And now, if I go to Explorer, you can see we have CSV data in my workspace one. I also have created this folder in which I have my Excel data. And lastly, uh, very quickly, I will also show you guys that suppose if you have a data in a, uh, in a drive, in a Google Drive, or in a uh, Dropbox you can also link the data from there and the important thing and the good thing about that is that you don't so suppose if you have data in Google Drive and you are also working on that database database or data set and it keeps on updating with the time Zoho allows you to modify your data modify your graph that you have built on data automatically because Zoho will keep on che checking how the data is uh, uh, changing. So that's why I usually suggest that uh, if you're working in Zoho, try to link data from Google Drive or Dropbox because then it become easy, more easy to update your graphs or chart because uh, as you keep on updating your data, Zoho will automatically keep on updating your graphs. So in order to do, in order to import data from uh, Google Drive, so I will just click 
again on this create button and then I will say import data as I said that I will be uh, importing data from a Google Drive so I will click the second option so I will be saying data from data from Google you can name it whatever you want so uh, the cloud storage type is I have already linked my uh, Google Drive and it's very easy so suppose if you are importing it first time just follow the steps it will not uh, it will not be difficult I have already linked my Google Drive with Zoho so I will say browse so I want to create I want to import this Tableau auto data into Zoho so I will just simply click it OK and then I will select next so this is the data overview again if you have some hidden rows you can and you also you want to import that data hidden data also into Zoho you can opt these two last two options but I, I know that I don't have any hidden rows or column so that's why I'm not opting any option and after that I will say next again this is the same similar kind of window that we have seen before uh, I'm happy with the variable types variable names so I will say create and again here is an important thing that you can even schedule this import what does it mean that so, so suppose if I click it here it can you can schedule the import that you want you can tell Zoho that how after how much time is Zoho try to import the same data set from your drive so suppose if you're working on that data uh, over the days and you want that my graphs get updated according to the new changes I have made you can use this schedule import settings so if you want to uh, schedule that import after a week uh, or every day every n hours so suppose if I want to is tell Zoho that keeps on updating my data from the Google Drive if there is any changes uh, suppose every n hours so I can tell that okay uh, keeps on checking that I have made any changes to my data after an hour or not uh, so you can use this sexual import setting that will be very useful if your data keeps on changing very continuously or over the time but I am not saving it so I will just close it so now I have also imported a data from a Google Drive so in this video I have shown you guys that how you can import data sets from an Excel from a CSV and from Google Drive this is not uh, only these data types that you can import into Zoho there are several different other formats that you can easily import into Zoho but this uh, but in this video I've tried to create a short overview about uh, how easily you can import data set in my later videos I will be probably talking about how to create graphs and also if you want to create new variables in Zoho or if you want to manipulate data in Zoho how you can do that thank you for watching the video